Happy Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Another flashback Friday story. When I used to live overseas, movies like Planet of the Apes, Star Wars, shows like Thunderbirds, and Lost in Space, you know, these old, oldie shows and movies were like the bomb. They were the greatest. And when the prequels of Star Wars came out, oh my gosh, the city that I lived in would go crazy for it. We're talking about uh, sales of the movies, we're talking about anniversary things, you know. We're talking about, uh, like, Pepsi, Pepsi's doing a, uh, was it a contest? So if you got, um, let's say, if you went and you got one of, uh, well, uh, growing up, uh, I used to get the bottles of Pepsi, but they were in, like, metal bottles, and they had the metal uh, cap, which sometimes, well, how I would open it up, I would open up with my teeth. My mom didn't like that because she was afraid I would break my uh, tooth or something, but that was the only way we can get it open. So if a certain code on the back of the uh, cap would be there, so you would send in the cap. And if you won, you would get a specially limited edition cap of Star Wars. And it would be like a figure, and you could like... The figure was the cap itself, and you could put it on your drink or something like that. So that's what they would do. That's what the contest would be, which would be funny, though. So um, that's what they would do. And when I was in fifth grade, uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, Revenge of the Sith was coming out. And it was a hit amongst my fifth grade class. Uh, these were um, fans of Star Wars and... Uh, I believe the movie came out. Everyone in my class saw it. I think I ended up seeing it too. I'm not too sure. But they ended up seeing it. And of course it was like the last day of uh, school. Uh, we were going to fourth, fifth grade to middle school. And I remember a group of the guys were like making jokes. Like, oh, so you know the, the Jedis? You know, they had the braids. When they're the apprentice or uh, a Padawan, and when they uh, do the trials and they win the test, they they cut the the braid off, so meaning that they're a Jedi now. You know, I wonder if they'll do that for fifth grade. They should do that for fifth grade. Okay, you were a fifth grader, Kuro. Now you are a sixth grader. <laughs> you know, I overheard them talking about that. And there's one particular guy. Oh my god, like he was he was cute. He was cute. Um, his name was Grant. Cute guy. Tall guy. Tall guy. Very tall. Uh, for fifth grade, I think he was already six foot. He had to be. He had to be six foot. He was most definitely taller than the other boys in my class. He had to be six foot already. And uh, he was a cute guy. He was a nerd. But... He was also, he was well-liked. He was very well-welcomed. He was weird. He was socially awkward. But he was more welcomed into the class than I was. And I don't know how. I mean, he, I would think he was just as awkward as I was, that I am. But, eh, it's each their own. Um, so, I remember that same day I was standing by him. I think we were all waiting to go to Skateland as a special treat. And I remember we were waiting. I guess we were waiting for the bus or something. I, I don't know. And I remember standing next to him. And I looked up. I was looking around and I noticed what caught my eye. Oh my god, it was so disgusting. Oh my god. Like, I, Okay, I watch a lot of... Earwax removal videos, I will admit that. I mean, he could have been... I, I think YouTube was out by 2005. 
I mean, he could have been one of the first videos of a, an ear wax extraction because his ear was so nasty. It's just like, why would you allow your ear? Why would you allow yourself to have your ear looking like that in the way it did? His ear, oh my gosh. You didn't have to look in it. You didn't have to be all up in it. Where I was, I looked up. All I could see right in like near the opening of the ear. Earwax. Plastered all over the place. And it was gooey. So this dude. <laughs> it was gooey. It was orange. It was transparent. Golly. I was just like. Looking at it, I couldn't. I couldn't look away from it. Cause I'm like, oh my god, dude, clean your freaking ear! <laughs> Seriously, like this dude. Oh my gosh, like, like I don't know if he had. Cause I know there's some people who have an over their ear overproduces earwax. And because of that, it has they have to like have some sort of tube in their ear to help uh, decrease it, decrease the, sec the secretion of the earwax. But uh, I don't know. Like I don't know if he was one of those people that possibly needed those tubes, or he was just a dirty boy who had poor hygiene. I mean, oh my god, dude! <laughs> like seriously, like oh. You're not supposed to know you have that much earwax in your ear unless the doctor tells you or else someone's like looking all up in the ear. You didn't have to look all up in the ear. It was already coming out. I'm surprised it wasn't oozing out, hanging up the earlobes. Oh, God. <laughs> it was nasty. Gross. Clean your ears, dude. Clean your ears. I do my best to clean mine. I do my best to clean your mind. I have to clean your mind because I got air. I've had air in this year for a long time. And uh, as long as I'm not in pain and I can still hear, I'm good. I just make sure that the earwax doesn't, doesn't cause any trouble. Which I don't have much earwax to begin with, but still, I gotta clean it. <laughs> I still clean it. Not every day, but just enough to clean it. Clean your ears.